Jordan Lane. This is Crafty Life Mom, take two. We're talking about DIY wood signs today. So if you follow me on Instagram a little bit ago, I just shared um, a bunch of different places where you can get wood cutouts or wood pieces. One place was Tuesday morning. I shared that in Instagram where I was walking down in the back. It's a huge uh, store that we have there walking down the back and they had like a craft section, like paints and markers. And then I found these, which appear to be very old, okay? Um, it's made by Foundations Decor. Wood things, wood words, letters, they're all cut by like a giant, almost commercial grade type of laser cutting machine or a CNC machine, um, like a giant cricket. And then I found like a truck and a camper, how stinking cute, right? So do you know where I'm going with this? You know how you have like a welcome sign and then you can change out the little item on the bottom? So how fun would it be to kind of have a sign like that? Well, you first of all gotta find wood pieces like this and I have seen things like this similar at all of your major craft stores, but if you wanna go look this one up, it is foundationsdecor.com. And so it's like these MDF wood pieces, right? That are um, kind of cut out with like one of those CNC like laser machines, okay? So I went live, or I thought I went live, where I kind of made one already. And I'm gonna show you the one that I made. It's this little wood house. Hold on, let me get my little thing. See? And so it's layers, let me turn it to, I'm like backwards in the camera. It's right to you, but wrong to me. So see how it's like layered and I painted this different things. And so these little, like you can do a house, you could do a school bus, you can do like whatever, right? And you can add it to your sign. And this would be so cute with a like Velcro dot or two on the back. And then you get your words and your wood round or your base. Ta-da, this is what I did. <laughs> I thought it was not. Um, and then you, so like this is gonna be glued on there, right? We're gonna do like a wood glue. And then you change out your little, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's like your little house. You can do a school bus or back to school, Christmas tree. You guys know like the Dollar Tree has um, those ornaments that come out. They have bunnies at Easter time. They have stars around 4th of July. They have pumpkins in the fall, and then they have like Christmas tree ornament cutouts. That is like the size of this little house here. Okay, so how cute would it be to interchange that? So what I'm showing you today is how you can make your own using things available at the craft store, the cutest wood door hangers or like little wood signs, okay? So yes, I did find these at Tuesday morning. But, and they're kind of like old, so I'm not sure you can find them again, but you could look that, that website. But while shopping at Hobby Lobby, I found like this word, welcome, which I already painted it white, okay? And then I found this word, hello, how stinking cute. And then they have like a wreath like this. So this would be super cute. It's open, right? So super cute painted like, a green color and you could even do like different tones or shades of green with the word hello black and then like wood glue these together and how adorable would this door hanger be like that with the space in it okay so these were from Hobby Lobby um, then I went to Michael's craft store and I'm gonna show you um, these wood blanks, okay. These are also from Hobby Lobby. Little words, you could use these like on picture frames. If you don't wanna do something big, you could do something small. So on picture frames, you could use little words like that. So definitely check out that. Cause you guys know like in the um, craft section or craft stores, there's always like a wood aisle, right? And for the longest time, it's been like wood blanks, maybe framed out, maybe not it's been um, in some wood letters, right? And then we kind of saw like wooden birdhouses and those were kind of cute even 
at most of your craft stores. And so here in the lately, I don't know if you've paid attention or noticed, but like wood signs where the laser cut words is becoming a little more trendy, a little more popular. And so they're kind of getting better things down the wood aisle. So you want to check it out. Now these wood rounds are about a quarter inch thick. I have two here. I bought a three pack of these on Amazon. You could easily drill a hole in this or attach some kind of door hanger to it. Um, that's what I created just a little bit ago. I've stained one with the Waverly gel stain chalk paint and like on camera, it just looks kind of messy. I promise it doesn't look that bad in real life. It looks good. Um, at least I like it, whatever. Um, and then I'm layering it with, so I you get where I'm going. You got your base and you have a wood word, right? And now we have that dimension going on and I don't have a machine. I don't have a laser cutter, but I can create that interchangeable sign kit according to what I find at different craft stores. And so, yes, I went to a couple different places to kind of get these pieces, but I picked them up when I was buying other things. And so I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys that you can create the most darling, like I know that word darling, but the cutest like home decor wood door hanger signs that you can't find anywhere else yet. They're kind of custom and unique to you. You can even sell these if you're like a craft person who um, sells her crafts or anything like that. So that's what I created earlier. Now I want to share with you one of my favorite um, makers that I follow on Instagram, the little green bean. You have to look her up. She's a cute, um, like they're a mom and pop, like family business. They have several wood lasers and um, they do some DIY kits that you can kind of build they're kind of like preset in stone like it's this what you get or you can but you can kind of like change the sizing or some of the customizations i ordered from her i've ordered from her before um a bunch of different things and so if um you are willing to like wait or you know like kind of buy a pre-made kit then like they have like i will have show you have like two different sizes here um and all the pieces kind of come like that and then you you paint them and you put them together so this was like a kit that i ordered that i have not yet put together um but it like i said it's kind of preset and it's a really cool thing that she has going there but there's kind of a little bit of fun in the variety and seeing what you can find so i'm going to continue making my little sign here um because I went live earlier, I thought I went live, and for some reason it wasn't, I don't really know, but you definitely need wood glue when it comes to attaching your pieces together, your layers, um, because it doesn't, it doesn't stick. I tried hot glue earlier, and I had a major problem with that, so word to the wise, definitely invest in some wood glue, and this one I have out is Tight Bond, the original wood glue. Um, honestly, I think it's some, it's an old bottle that I stole from my husband's stash. Okay. So all I'm doing right now is just using my finger to kind of paint the back of this wood word that says welcome with the glue. And I'm going to attach it to the wood round that I kind of stained right here. Um, just to kind of show you how you could DIY this yourself. So Recap, you can buy the wood pieces anywhere. You don't have to have a machine to cut, okay? Um, this welcome word came from Hobby Lobby and this thin little wood round, and, and I like how it's lightweight. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, okay? Three to a pack from Amazon. This wood word was, let's see, where's my hello one I had, and I'll tell you how much it was. Um, I think, okay, so it was like $4 for this size wood. And it's about, it's a little bit wider than 12 inches, okay? So, I'm going to lay it on, and I want to get this to where my wood grain looks good here. Maybe we'll do it this, so I kind of like it like this, okay? And I'm just going to lay it in the center here. 
but kind of in the upper center. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Um, and then I'm just gonna press it down. Wood glue, the hot glue will not work with this. And that's what I did previously um, and it didn't stick at all. So wood glue is the best way to go with getting this to kind of stick. And you kind of want to give it a minute to get down, like to adhere there. Hey, Amy. Hey, Sandra. What's happening? All right. So let's see. I'm going to keep going. Um, I wanted to make sure I was still alive because I thought it was earlier and it wasn't. All right. So here's a little house that I just did and I, I wood glued all the layers to that. I'm going to open up, um, this one, it's a part of a sign. You guys see that there? It shows you like how you can put it like on a square and label it like with maybe a picture or a card. I don't even know, but I, I'm not even buying it for that. So when you look for these, like in the scrapbooking section near the, in the wood section, they kind of start to go together. Um, I'm thinking especially at Hobby Lobby that you find these little things, but you can use them for something different. Okay. So you're not, you're not really using it for its intended use, which kind of makes it a little bit more unique. Okay, so here's the cupcake. They all come, or this one came instead of the other one, with this like wood base background. And I could see definitely like if you wanted to put it, you know, with some wording on the background, that would be a cute little thing for a tiered tray. Um, but I'm going bigger with it, right? I wanted to do a door hanger. So... This, um, I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see again how these laser cut pieces are. See that? And they kind of like have them stuck together just so you don't lose them. But so you have your like thicker base and then you have, my little candle is not, sorry guys, it's stuck on there really good. See, it's like a glue. Ew, right? Like a sticky glue. Then you have like your frosting of the cupcake so you're gonna do that like in one kind of coat of a thing right and then you'll put your candle on there and this looks like it's actually two candles because it's and it's really not let me show you the base so you could do like see how it's like the flame is a little bit separate from that the way that this piece was just packaged is they glued them together but it's to keep them together. But we're gonna paint them different colors. And you could probably do it on one piece, but what fun is that? So um, what I like to do is a little bit of paint and scrapbook paper, um, because I just think it adds a little bit of extra to the piece. And it's two different mediums, so they, they kind of blend different um, tones together, like different, it's like that layering look, I guess. So I'm going to show you how I did the house a little bit ago. So just pull these pieces apart. And this would be like really cute for like if you're celebrating a birthday, you change out the little house to like the birthday cupcake, right? How fun. See? So we would like put a Velcro dot. Oh, it's in season. I wouldn't let it dry. Oh, that's what you get for not letting it dry. Um, before like shaking it all around. But yeah, you can change out the sign on the bottom. Okay, let me make sure that my welcome is going to actually dry on there. Might need to clamp it and put a little extra. Um, now that I've moved it all around, let me just do that really quick. We have a good stick here. And I've tried to glue this with um, hot glue first. And so that might be part of the reason why it's not sticking. So learn from my mistake if you guys pursue this craft because it's I'm having a hard time here now with it wanting to stick to my surface. If I would have done the wood glue to begin with, it would have worked like a charm. And I only say that because I have a piece that I've bought from that maker and I just did wood glue straight out the gate and it worked beautiful. Okay, so let me get this back into place and push down. And I think I may add some weight to it. I'm gonna put it up here um, to the side. 
and I'm gonna put my box of heavy paints like right on top just to kind of put the weight down on it while we finish up making the cupcake. All right, so for the cupcake, um, I have a couple different papers here and I'm gonna do this like iridescent dot gold whatever for the cupcake backing. And the best way to do this is just to take Mod Podge. I'm gonna just have my big jar of it. And I'm just gonna dab on the entire um, base here. Cause I want the layer for mainly the bottom, right? Cause it's gonna be like the cupcake holder or like the wrapper that it's in. So I'm just going to do that right here. And then I'm going to lay it down onto my scrap of paper. Smoosh it into that, right? So now I have that kind of stuck. When you do the Mod Podge, it actually um, dries pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna do next is just cut around my little cupcake, right? So I kind of have it looking like this. And then I'm using a exacto knife tool. Here it is right here. Um, this is actually a Cricut one. And I'm just going to cut around my cupcake just following the outline of it. And I realize you probably can't really see now that I put that paint in front of the camera there. And this is just my base. I'm going around the top of it, but I really don't care what the top looks like because remember I have the top piece that's going for that piece of it. So, all right, you can find these like little wood pieces, these little shapes just about anywhere. Um, and do the same method that I'm doing. Okay, so now you see that it's covered and it's pretty dry, like it's good. I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to paint the top of my piece here. And I'm going to use my sanding block just to kind of smooth out the top here. And I think we're going to do, hmm, let's do a pink icing maybe, like a frosty pink. Let's try that. We will just paint that right on there. Let me get some paint going. And I might need to do two coats just because the color that I've picked is kind of light. Let's see. My little pieces. So I just kind of want to make sure that I get all of it painted pretty good. And you could also go back and add like sprinkles with paint on this or even do like a different kind of, um, you know, scrap of paper even. You don't even have to do paint. You could just scrap of paper both pieces. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna just stick with the paint on this. I'm gonna put this one to the side to dry. Okay, and then let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow for my flame. And I can almost just do that with my finger because it is so small of a piece. And let that dry. Get just a little tiny paintbrush. Okay. And then 
we're going to do, let's see, let's do the um, candle maybe in the base of it in like a teal color. What do you guys think about that? We'll do the teal. I have a little bit of teal. Right, oh no, we'll do this one. This one's a little bit cuter, so I will do that right there. Just to kind of give it a little extra pop of color with the yellow, I think it'll be really cute. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that off of my top. I'm hoping it's secured pretty well. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Might need to put a little extra in this little side. But so there's the, I can't hold it and save my life. There it stayed on though. There's the welcome part, right? Okay, so now we're gonna just put our pieces together. I wanna make sure my little, I keep calling it a cloud, but it's not, it's the frosting on our cupcake. And I'm just kind of going around with my fingers here just to make sure it's all dry. And yes, it is kind of messy. I'm getting it on my fingers. But when you use paint and glue, like, it's inevitable, right? All right. So, same thing. I'm going to do wood glue on the back of my piece. Just like this. And we're going to lay it down on top of the scrapbook paper piece. And so here, I'm gonna pull it up to the camera just so you can see the difference now as we start to layer our little cupcake. See that? Okay, super cute. All right, so now we could probably go back and add sprinkles, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and get these pieces glued where they should go. and then show you what it looks like when we add it to our sign. All right, so. Here's our little candle. Super tiny. I'm gonna show you once we get it all on the cupcake. And I think it was just kind of sticking over the top there. Like this. It's gonna need a little time to dry, but it's sticking enough to where I can show you. Hopefully. See? All right, so last part is just to be secured to the main sign or add a Velcro dot and attach it to your sign. Like that. How cute. And then look, you can inter interchange these out based on how many you buy or how many you create. And you have a cute little interchangeable sign. So there's like the cupcake. And then where's my house? Like I have a house. House. I love the house. The house is adorable. How cute is that with the word welcome? All right. So there's the idea right there. Um, you don't have to have a laser to do it. You can find pieces at most of your craft stores. Oh, I didn't show you the um, like pre-made versions that they kind of have. All you have to do is paint them are at Michael's craft store. And like I bought these blanks for just $3.50 already done with the rainbow. And then you can add like whatever lettering you want to it. So how fun and adorable and cute is that? These would make great little gifts or door hangers for friends or even teachers, like orientation, to kind of like mark their classroom, that sort of thing. So, if you have any questions, just put them down below. I'm happy to answer, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. I will see you soon. Bye.